Shalom and welcome to our last episode of Living Supernaturally in this week. And through this week, we have been looking at the privileges of being the children of God. And to be a child of God is a wonderful privilege. And we did see some benefits that come from that. But just with that privilege comes an important and an inescapable responsibility that we as a child of God are called to fulfill. And that's what we shall highlight today. Let's go ahead and look at a scripture verse. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 14 to 17, As obedient children, you also be holy in all your conduct, because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. And if you call on the Father, who without partiality judges according to each one's work, conduct yourselves throughout the time of your stay here in fear. So the responsibility that we as children have is to exhibit the right conduct and develop the right attitudes. Now there are many commands in the New Testament that are within the context of our relationship with, the God, with God our Father. So as an earthly parent, there may be certain things and there are certain things that we expect from our children. We expect that our children respect and honor us. We expect that they pay wisdom. Um, we expect that they pay attention to our wisdom and our authority and even maybe to the judgment that we bring, we expect that they serve and support us. Now, all this, of course, becomes extremely meaningful when it is done in love. And this is exactly what God desires of us. He desires of us a conduct that speaks of us as his children. So we will look at three aspects of what conduct is it that God desires of us and what are those responsibilities we are to fulfill? So firstly, the Father desires that we love Him and we serve Him out of our genuine devotion rather than a sense of duty or obligation. Now Jesus shared the greatest commandment which He said is love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And how often do we express this love? That's the responsibility that we express our love to God out of our genuine devotion. Secondly, the Father desires that we honor Him. We read in the Old Testament where the Lord is asking some of the leaders some questions and it, it's, it reads in Malachi 1.8, A son honors his father and a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my reverence? To honor the father is to recognize that he is sovereign, that he is Lord over everything, and it is to be in a place of gratitude and thanksgiving. Thirdly, the heavenly father wants us to imitate him. So when we call ourselves the children of God, how much of God's character should be there within us. And Paul brings this up in, in the book of Ephesians. He says, be imitators of God as dear children. So we are to be different from people who are not members of God's family. We need to demonstrate those acts of obedience. We have that responsibility to imitate the Lord in things that he's instructed of us. So. Let's go back to knowing that just as we enjoy those privileges, we have that responsibility to love Him, to honor Him, and to imitate Him so that we truly become His child. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank You, Father, that You have called us to be Your children. Lord, You want us, Lord, to imitate You. You want us, Lord, to love You and to honor You. Father, we know, God, that you have blessed us with, with things, Lord, from above, Father. And we ask, Master, that we would be responsible to love you with the deepest devotion, to honor you and to imitate you and be like you. Father, we pray for your grace and your spirit to empower us as we do this. 
thank you for being with us at every turn. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.